Hi guys, it's Richard Williams here. I'm going to put together a series of tutorials now to explain further <clears throat> bringing in a website from Photoshop into Dreamweaver. Um, what I'm going to try to do is pick up where Abraham left off here in this tutorial and um, <clears throat> explain to you the process that we go through from uh, making slices and then taking it into Dreamweaver. So I don't have Abraham's original files but Excuse me. Here's a website that um, I picked. I've picked up just off the internet. Um, it's just a template that I picked up from uh, one of the template sites, one of the many template sites that are out there. Um, as you can see, I've already added the slices. Um, and the, when you do slices in your design, it's really up to you where you put them. Um, and I can pretty much guarantee you that you're not going to get this right the first couple of times that you do it. Um, but it's good to, to start off, go through the process and, and find out as you do more of these, you'll, you'll get to learn how to do it better. Um, what I've done is I've, I've created a number of different slices around this image, highlighted the buttons, um, the key text areas, um, and I've also got a number of funny slices in here these will become apparent as to why I've done this later on in the series of tutorials so as Abraham said put your slices in put them wherever you you know you feel they're necessary one thing I'd like to pick up is when you do the slices what you need to do is make sure that the numbers all follow correctly so as you can see here number one number two number three number four if I come down here, you see that I go from 16 to 18. The reason here is I haven't dragged this slice further far along enough the, the screen. So I need to make sure that I do that. And I just bring that off the, off the screen. And now you can see that this number turns to 17. Right, this number turns to 17. Um, and now we know that all the slices in the right place. So we go to File, Save for Web and Devices. Here's a preview screen that comes up. Now I normally use GIF. Um, Abraham in his tutorial said to use JPEG. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch it to JPEG. And again, I'll explain why I've done this later on. Um, but as a general rule, I, you know, people will advise you on is if you have a, any text or kind of small images then you can use a GIF um, and if you've got a, a very sharp image then what you want to do is save it as a JPEG. Um, I'm going to do it as a, do the whole thing as a JPEG for now again I'll explain why later. So we press save comes up here with a file name that we've already created within Dreamweaver I've already created a site um, put a file up on my computer um, and call it templates as you can see there's nothing in here at the moment so I'm saving to the same place into the template file um, the file name you, you know you can change it if you want I've set that as HTML and images make sure that all slice all slices are highlighted there and just press the save button once that's completed if we go into Dreamweaver, I just hit the refresh button. You see now it's created a file named images and an HTML called layout. If I open up that layout, what you see here is the website design has now come into Dreamweaver. You can test that. in your browser and there you see here's the site and it all looks as it did in Photoshop but now it's all been coded into HTML okay so let's close that what's actually happened here if we look in split view is what we what's actually happened is we've created a table here and inside that table there's a number of different cells 
and in each of those cells are the sliced images that we've created. So um, if I just press delete, I, what I'll be doing is just taking that one image out that's being called from this file in images. Okay, so that's what's happening here. Um, as we go through the series, I'll now explain what we do next, how we optimise um, the site from within Dreamweaver.